and St. Patrick's Day festivities started weeks ago in Binghamton with Parade Day, but Irish traditions have been a part of our culture for centuries. Our Smith McDonald has more. For local Irish in Binghamton, St. Patrick's Day is more than just a party. It's good to gather as a community and celebrate our faith and our culture. Churchgoers at St. Patrick's Catholic Church attended Mass in honor of St. Patrick, and then they gathered to showcase traditional Irish music and dancing. It's very heartwarming to know that our community has so many people that share the same common values as we do. The Irish community has deep roots in the southern tier. Broome County historian Gerald Smith says the Irish were the first non-native group to immigrate to Broome County. The Irish left their country in the 1840s because of a potato famine and came to Binghamton to work on farms and railroads, but they faced hardships while assimilating to U.S. life. And if you read some of the newspapers from the mid-19th century, they talk about the drunken Irish and the brawls that they got into, and it's been a long uphill battle. But Smith says the Irish have managed to overcome prejudice and preserve their culture. They lived hard, they loved hard, uh, they worked hard, uh, but they've made themselves part of this community. And there are many Irish in our community. The 2000 U.S. Census says over 16 percent of Broome County residents identify as Irish. Many of them today members of the fire and police forces. They've uh, been members of our political structure. And he says Irish traditions have become a big part of our culture today. I think without it, uh, this would be a very different community in which to live. In Binghamton, Samantha McDonald, Fox 40 HG News.